Hey everyone, my name is Danilo Petrovic. I'm Ilya Marchenko. I'm Dennis Kuda. I'm Evgeny Donskoy. I'm Henry Laksan. I'm Peter Turepko, and, and you're listening to the Game to Love podcast. Hey, welcome back, tennis fans. Uh, unfortunately, this is just going to be a bit of a strange podcast. It's like uh, I've only just sort of found out about this. I don't know how it's been sort of floating around in the media over the past few days. Uh, it's come to light that uh, this tennis player, uh, who used to obviously be a Wimbledon champion, a French Open champion in the doubles, which is Pong Shuai, uh, she's actually uh, disappeared. She's either gone into hiding or she's disappeared over some uh, sort of allegations she's brought against the somebody's quite high up in the Chinese government. Very high up. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And either she's in fear for her life now or she's disappeared for another reason. We don't know, but this is sort of the first uh, sort of in-depth uh, look into it I've sort of had just before this uh, podcast. And I'm I'm shocked by the whole thing. That's I think the I'm... most shocking part for us is it sort of rings home a little bit because we know the tennis player. She's obviously a Chinese tennis player who we're quite familiar with. She's yeah. done some great things on tour, um, most notably in the doubles, winning grand yeah. slams, but in the singles as well. We did get to a semi-final that time at the US Open. And she's a, she's a tennis player who we're familiar with. And it's terrible. What's happening in China at the moment? We've seen other incidents as well with other big famous stars. Uh, we had the incident yeah. with Jack Ma as well disappearing. And it just seems to be another situation. But this one, it's pretty evident why. Let's be honest. Um, I know you're saying you were sort of alluding to the fact that we're not sure exactly what's happened, but we kind of do. Let's sort be honest, of, yeah. because I mean, from what we're hearing, she's come out of a statement she made on uh, Weibo. Is that right? Weibo? Yeah, Weibo, I think it is. the. It's like the Chinese, ver Chinese version of Twitter. They don't have Twitter yeah. over there. But it is, I think, all still regulated by the Chinese government uh, mm. over there. So... They're very cautious of what people post. And from what I understand is she put out a post uh, uh, talking about some sort of a relationship that she might have had with uh, one of these or the, for the former guy. I believe his name is Zhang Gaioli or something. And after she posted about this uh, improper, like, a, I don't know, sexual encounter, let's say, it got removed within 13 minutes uh, by the government. And now they've, I think, didn't you say they've banned people searching for tennis players? Well, they did. So on, on Weibo, they couldn't search tennis and everything. What What's happening is we have a platform. We feel like it is right for us to report on things like this. And it is important that we do sort of raise, raise recognition because there's a lot of people who wouldn't know this story. And I have, yeah. I didn't know it until today. No, and the craziest thing is she report, she actually wrote the, the comment on the 2nd of November. So that is okay. a few days ago now. Yeah, yeah. I've seen little bits in the in the media, but nothing to like how it's blown up today, and which has led to obviously a big statement from the WTA. And this yeah. is why we need to talk about this and come together as people who enjoy tennis. Uh, this is bigger than tennis. This isn't. This is more. This is a lot bigger than who wins the next match or the next Grand Slam or who's going to be what rank next week. This is about someone's life, and it's just yeah. it's shocking to see what's happening because she's said this. Uh, I don't think it's actually for the Me Too movement, but there's obviously a lot going on in the world at the moment yeah. um, where people are talking out and they're using social media as a voice to explain issues and problems they're having in their life uh, just to, so they can be heard. Where tip usually they wouldn't be heard and they'd be silent. She's able to use these platforms to be heard. And that's exactly what we want to be able to do here and project like a positive voice on the matter and just sort of raise awareness for it because... I want her name to be trending everywhere. I want everyone to be talking about it. I want it to be in the British press as much as everything yeah. because I think it just can't keep happening. And it, it's not the first time it's happened because I remember when I first told you, I sent you the article, you was like, oh, this seems to be happening all the time. Not even just with tennis, with everything. Yeah. Um, and yeah, it is, it's truly shocking. Like I've got, we've got loads to sort of like different things to read through. Um well, I saw the. I don't know you want to start. <clears throat> there was Maybe a you start of, with the, what the WTA. Have yeah, said, the let's start with that because I don't really want to go straight into uh, what she said in her statement because it's I don't know it's really upsetting to be honest after reading it uh, some of the stuff she said in it. But this is what the WTA have come out and it says that the WTA seek full, fair, and transparent 
investigation into sexual assault allegations against former Chinese leader. Obviously, there's a lot of ties between the WTA and China. Uh, obviously, they were supposed to have the uh, race to Shenzhen, uh, yeah. that one, now in Guadalajara because of the, the pandemic. Um, Before we get to the statement, are you not happy that this is a massive step? But I feel like, yeah. this is my opinion of it, the WTA and ATP often ignore stuff. They yeah. just they just but they just turn a blind eye to it like it's not happened. Money. And this time, obviously, because they've got events there and stuff, <clears throat> they've not done it. And I just that's why we've got the logo behind us. Because we're relieved. For, yeah. a, for for a change, they're actually doing something about it and making a statement. Yeah. I think it's it is good that they finally come out and said something. I think it's too big to be ignored though, to be honest. And if you do clam up and it will just be so obvious if you didn't say anything uh, in this sort of situation and in the like the support of what is a very decorated women's tennis player yeah. and who's done so much for the WTA, uh, especially building bridges with probably getting the WTA out there into China as yeah, well. Exactly, so, yeah. yeah, I mean, this is it's a it's a massive story. It's just a very shocking one, and uh, I feel very very sad for. For Pong herself, uh, I'm, I'm Pong Shui. Uh, I think I, I wouldn't wish this upon anybody. And the fact that she has just tried to bring a bit of light to something, and now it's sort of a well, not sure, good, good on her, man. Good on her that she felt the comp, the courage it's a whistleblowing, to do it. It's, isn't it? It's uh, it's tough, isn't it? But it's not when worked you... in her favour. <clears throat> what this is the problem it's going to do is Never a lot does. of other women or or men as well who would like to speak out about something. They're now not going to do it. They're, well, not, they're exactly. going to just keep it within themselves because they don't know what's going to happen. If you, it, Basically, if you speak out about something, does that mean you're going to go missing? Well, it's a similar sort of scenario. Uh, not exactly the same, but it just reminds me of Icarus, uh, this documentary, which is about the the guy who, uh, for the, the Russian Olympic team, he sort of helped with their state-sponsored uh, doping. And he obviously came out against them. And then he had to go into hiding. He, his life's in danger. Like, there's no way that you could come out and and get the Olympics, well, yeah. taken away from Russia and still keep your life. So I don't think anyone's ever going to see him again. He, 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 he's gone into hiding, though. It's not because he's been taken out. But yeah. that's it. Your life's over, pretty much. You can't do anything else. Scary. Well, Horrible. Um, uh, let's, let's read the statement. I'll let you do the first <clears> bit and I'll do the second. Sure. It says... The recent events in China are uh, concerning a WTA, a WTA player, Pong Shui, are of deep concern. Uh, as an organization dedicated to women, we remain committed to the principles we were founded on, equality, opportunity, and respect. Yeah, Pong Shui and all women deserve to be heard, not censored. Her accusation about the conduct of a former Chinese leader involving a sexual assault must be treated with the utmost seriousness. In all societies, the behavior she alleges that took place needs to be investigated, not condoned or ignored. We commend Peng Shui for her remarkable courage and strength in coming forward. Women around the world are finding their voices so injustices can be corrected. And, well, brilliant words. Let's see if they actually yeah. do something about it. It's all good and well making a statement and yeah. acknowledging it. That's the first step. Now let's see what the action is. Definitely. And then the last bit... And I want to was... see, I wanna <clears throat> see strict action. We'll get onto that later on in the podcast. Well, yeah, I mean... It's it's so big, it's the, the news, that I feel it needs to be bigger, but that's why we're sort of doing our, our little bit. There's a lot of hashtags and things going out there uh, in support of uh, Pong Shui, wherever she may be, and hopefully she realises that what she's done is for the good of everybody else out there. And i just uh my well my thoughts go out to her i just feel i feel from re after reading her statement i can't like it's so detailed and you just don't but, think that who's making that up i mean they're, they're gonna, obviously gonna believe, say I, I don't believe she's making it up for one second and as no. soon as i said it i couldn't turn a blind eye to it i thought we had to do a podcast i know we do have live watch alongs happening in about 10 minutes time but it's important to get something out there yeah, yeah. i know we don't have the biggest following but if it reaches say a thousand people I think that's a job well done, even if it reaches 500 people. Yeah. 500 people maybe who didn't necessarily know the story, and now they do, and they can maybe share it on with other people. And if we can make some kind of difference, then I think uh, we've done a good deed in, in the world. Indeed, mate. Uh, <clears throat> I'm not sure how much into detail you want to go to. I mean, I, 
that I did. I don't really want to put the the statement up uh, on the screen just because, for me, it's it's it, it's not a nice statement. The one that the one that she had taken down, which yeah. sort of went. Yeah, no, I don't went, think we have to go through that. But is there more yeah. to this one? Uh, this one, uh, there's yeah, a there little bit more. It's just a tiny bit. It just said we expect this issue to be handled properly, meaning the allegations must be investigated fully, fairly, transparently, and without censorship. Our absolute and unwavering priority is the health and safety of our players. We are speaking out so justice can be done, which is great. I, to I hear. always feel with censorship that you're guilty. Like, why else would you censor something if it's not real? <laughs> well. Because if it can be like defamation or sometimes, yeah, of things, I understand that. Sometimes. But it just seems it just seems like more times than not, if you're blocking the word tennis on a big social media outlet, you just don't want people talking about it whatsoever. And I don't think the reason they don't want is for a defamation of character. I think it's purely no. for the fact that it's probably real, and they just don't want to know. They just don't want people knowing about it, and they're going to hide it as much as possible. And then the next step, why has she gone missing? So this reads on, where is she? Why well, is she not able to make a statement? <clears throat> Hopefully she's okay. I fought to with her and her family uh, for this very difficult time. She's come forward in confidence and now she's paying the well, the price of doing of doing so. Yeah, I mean, it's either it's by the one of two things, isn't it? She's either been taken off the streets or she's taken herself off the streets, it seems like. Uh, I'm only hoping it's she's gone into hiding for a bit just for her own safety and that's it like i don't want i don't want any like anything bad to come of her and i don't want her to just be disappeared and missing and forgotten about as well i want this to be a main story and i want people to actually be speaking about it, not for it to just be brushed aside like a lot of these other things do it seems like when the news stop reporting everybody else just moves on with their life and i think some of these things have to be addressed look what happened in america when the Me Too movement finally got going. They couldn't silence it, and it eventually led to disgusting people like Harvey Weinstein just being put away behind bars for all his disgusting actions. So, if that's what it takes uh, to get the ball rolling, then at least we're doing uh, doing our bit. So I'm looking at all the reaction on Twitter. There has been a lot of players come forward. We've had ATP players, uh, a lot of other journalists. Dub- uh, players on the WTA tour, obviously a big one in, in tennis for the men's is Nick, uh, Nicholas Mahut. He said the ma- the fact yeah. that Pong Shea is missing is not only a WTA problem, we are all concerned. ATV tour, ITF tennis, everyone, uh, stop yeah. the silence. Where is she? We People want to know. And it's, I've seen a lot of, it's yeah. not just that, it's everyone sticking together and it's important that everyone does as well. And everyone's talking about it because it's just <clears throat> outright shocking. I was I was really appalled by the story and I couldn't, I couldn't avoid, avoid it. No, I think it's very sad. That's the, I don't think we can uh, speak about it too much more because I'm, I'm conscious that we've got another uh, watch along which is coming up very shortly. We just wanted to cover this though because we thought it was important uh, just to get it out there. Please make sure, yeah, just to, to share it with other people, other people who aren't aware of the things that are going on. And this is something which I think will will grow and people will get more awareness if people are speaking about well, it more. Especially now the WTA have actually done something about it and addressed it. Yeah, That's something exactly. we've not seen in other incidences. So yeah. I'm happy that something is happening. The sort of before we wrap it up, I just wanted to ask you, what do you think should happen next? Because the WTA have made this statement. I'm gonna go off the bat of what I think. I think now, until something drastic happens um, which I don't think is going to happen because I don't think they're going to really prove uh, the vice president or exactly, I don't know exactly who he is. They're not going to find him guilty either. There's not going to be any evidence on it. It's going to probably be covered over as long as she's safe and well. That's the main thing, but she's never going to be fully safe and well because she's been mentally scarred. Well, um, it's, uh, but what, what, what do you think uh, should happen? What should the WTA talk? Because I think probably the best play, way to place to start is to stop events in China now. Until well, that's about, that's, well, that's it. Until they stop, get if you stop the money there, but then there's is that yeah, going to be it's, enough? It's it's the other way round. I, I think that the money is coming back the other way in sort of funding, and that's where that's why I'm impressed they've stood up and spoken about it because that is a big market, uh, and there's a lot of money coming from that side of the world for WTA tennis. Well, uh, I'm I just hope that they can sort it out and they get to the bottom of it uh, and. If there's any wrongdoing, 
it actually, well, they get their comeuppance. That's it. So you can hope for in life that karma comes around to get people. And also, I know people are saying she's been taken off the streets. I think that's the terminology you use. You don't mean she's been on the street. I don't know if you're going to clarify what you said. No, no. I'm not saying that. I'm saying that if she, that they're saying she's basically disappeared. She's, she's, no she's, longer. Dis- she's, dis- she's disappeared, but we don't know whether she's made herself disappear or if someone else has made her disappear. That's what yeah. I mean. That's why it's a bit of a mystery. She's, she's not been taken literally off the street. She's not walking down the street and been taken off the streets. Just to clarify that it's, yeah. it's just a bit of a weird scenario that she now has gone either into hiding or disappeared since this whole thing's blown up. Uh, maybe it's just for safety. I'm hoping it is yeah. right. Anyway, let's wrap this one up. Uh, make sure hit a like on the video, subscribe and share, uh, share the story. Let's uh, try and find out where she is and hopefully she is safe. Yeah. See you guys soon.